Welcome to Blockchain Simplified. Let's talk about the history of money. Are cryptocurrency is a good payment method? In order to understand that, we must first see a brief explanation about payment methods through history. So, what is money? It is nothing but a way to pay someone for something whether it is a product or a service. You transfer to that person some type of value. Throughout history, a lot of stuff have served as money, but not all of them were good money. As people understood more the concept, they started searching for something trusted to be considered as a currency. Long time ago, there was something known as the barter system, the exchange of products. For example, you give me bread and I give you rice in return. However, it was really complicated, so there was a need for a common unit of exchange. That's where gold came in. It is the oldest known form of money. People considered it a great currency thanks to three criteria it had. 1. Its rarity. Gold could not be found anywhere and it was hard to harvest which made gold have a good store of value. 2. Gold is transportable. So, it had a method of transfer. 3. Gold is fungible. 1 ounce of gold equals 1 ounce of gold. So it had a good unit of account. However, there was a few problems with gold. 1. It can be debased. People weren't sure anymore whether they were getting pure gold, or gold mixed with other metals. There was no trust anymore. And it lost its good store of value. 2. It was hard to transport since it was heavy. 3. It was not a good unit of account anymore because it was very hard to cut and device. And that's when paper money came in. It was first used by the Chinese. Europeans started adopting it in the 17th century. What was paper money? It was an IOU and it was pegged to gold. In order to get one, you gave a gold coin to a local bank in exchange for it. Each bank had its different IOU. So you have to exchange it in the same bank where you put the gold coin in. But now this form of money solved their problems with gold. However, the banks started taking interest of the situation. They knew not all people would come redeem their coins at the same time which caused fractional reserve banking. The banks held some coins and used it to loan others. So what had to be done? Somebody had to be in charge. That's when central banks started. The first central bank ever was the Bank of England in 1694. The central bank notes were valued better than other banks. Until, a regulation was made for no new banks to print banknotes and to remove all the old banknotes from circulation. This leaves the central bank's notes as the only ones. Welcome to the gold standard. The gold standard was a system that backs its currency with gold. The United States adopted the system and traded one ounce of gold for $20.67. Why was it backed by gold? This would limit governments and banks to excessively print paper currencies. So it was the gold that had value. But World War I started and the government started printing way more money than it had. Following the Great Depression. So the United States and the United Kingdoms stopped redeeming cash for gold coins. Why? Because there was not enough gold to back the amount of money. In 1944, 44 countries met in Bretton Woods and made a decision. All currencies will become linked to the US dollar and the dollar linked to gold. But that only lasted until 1971 when Richard Nixon ended the agreement because the United States didn't have enough gold to back up for all the countries. And that was the end of the gold standard and the beginning of fiat money. Fiat money was paper money not pegged by gold. Obviously, it did not have a good store of value because governments can print as much as they want causing inflation to eat up its value. So now, we have to trust the central authority to take care of our money. This is called centralization. A single organization holds the power to do whatever it wants. But many people thought, could we have a monetary system with all its advantaged, just decentralized? without a central party in control, so they thought of digital money. But there was no trust. If no one was in charge, what keeps someone from printing new money? Therefore, there was no store of value. Until in 2008, a very promising idea was proposed. The blockchain technology. 
Since this currency on a blockchain uses cryptography, it was called cryptocurrency. Will cryptocurrencies become the new form of money in the future? Comment down below your thoughts and engage with us. If you're interested in these types of videos, subscribe to our channel.